Hello welcome to IT Expert YouTube video series. Today we are going to talk about application performance monitoring. What is the purpose of APM? The continued availability and appropriate performance of an application are essential to a company's ability to maintain uninterrupted business processes. This prevents unnecessary business disruptions and enhances customer satisfaction. An effective APM platform provides an organization with the ability to connect their app performance to their business outcomes, isolate and fix errors before they affect the end user and reduce the mean repair time. Drivers for purchasing APM tools. Here are key reasons an enterprise purchases APM tools. APM tools gather and quantify data from almost anything that plays a role in an app's performance. At the foundation, Application performance monitoring tools look at the application's hosting platform, mine information on process utilization and examine memory demands and disk reader write speeds. They also track processor utilization, which consists of the number of operations per second the CPU server performs. If memory usage is high, application performance issues will arise. As a result, APM tracks how much short-term data a CPU stores. At the software level, APM tools track error rates, or how often an application runs into a problem or fails. For example, an error can occur when there is not enough memory for the application to access. Application performance monitoring tools also monitor code execution to identify where there might be bottlenecks during memory-intensive processes, such as searching a database. Automated load balancing has the potential to trick IT professionals into thinking everything is working properly because the combined performance of the servers appears to be fine. In reality, the automation could be masking issues where some servers are carrying more of the load than others. APM tools can help IT professionals avoid this issue by tracking all the servers at once to find out where a problem might be. Why is APM important? Application performance monitoring offers several benefits to the enterprise in terms of organizational effectiveness, reputation or brand and long-term cost efficiencies. Organizational benefits include better cooperation and collaboration involved in application delivery. Front-end monitoring helps to oversee the application from the user's standpoint the user experience or UX. Back-end monitoring oversees the numerous services and dependencies used by the application, such as a critical database. And infrastructure monitoring either local or cloud-based helps ensure that all of the software applications can run on a well-configured and functional infrastructure. APM initiatives must break down these traditional silos for seamless and transparent application delivery. The organization's reputation and brand benefit from reliable and available applications. If a user cannot access an application or the application responds poorly if at all the user will be dissatisfied because they cannot do their jobs, and the company's reputation will suffer. This can result in lower application utilization, slower application adoption and less revenue for the business. Ensuring that the application is working well is a wise strategy for any business that relies on its applications or software services. The corollary to revenue is cost. It costs money to maintain and troubleshoot an application. An enterprise workload that functions poorly, experiences frequent software or infrastructure issues or poses availability challenges will incur costs to troubleshoot and remediate. Application monitoring helps identify problems for rapid correction. In some cases, prompt remediation can take place before users are even aware of an issue. The cost of APM can bring direct cost savings and unneeded application downtime and troubleshooting. What are the components of APM? Application performance monitoring focuses on tracking five primary components of app performance. One runtime application architecture. Two real user monitoring. Three business transactions. Four component monitoring. 5. Analytics and Reporting Runtime Application Architecture This aspect analyzes the hardware and software components used in the app's execution and the paths they use to communicate. Through pattern recognition and the identification of performance problems, IT professionals can anticipate the potential for future problems before they happen and plan for necessary upgrades such as more application storage in a timely manner. Real User Monitoring Also known as End User Experience Monitoring, this component gathers user-based performance data to understand how well the application is performing for users and to gauge potential performance problems. For example, APM might monitor the response time of a critical website and flag response times that exceed a comfortable threshold, alerting stakeholders of lag or application response issues. Real user monitoring enables an organization to efficiently respond to faults and understand their effect. There are two ways of tracking end-user experience. One synthetic monitoring. 
This tracking method uses probes and bots to simulate an end user to determine problems before the app is opened. Synthetic monitoring is also used to monitor service level agreements SLAs associated with the app. 2. Agentless monitoring. This method uses data probes to analyze network traffic that travels through load balancers and switches. Agentless monitoring reveals information about performance throughout the entire infrastructure, as well as details on the analyzed clients such as their location, OS and browser. Business transactions. Also known as user-defined transaction profiling, this component focuses on examining specific user interactions and recreating them to test and understand the conditions that lead to a performance problem. This process helps organizations trace events as they move across the app's various components, as well as revealing when and where events are occurring and whether performance efficiency is optimized. This kind of profiling, along with component monitoring, is vital for effective troubleshooting in complex application environments. Component monitoring. Also known as application component deep dive, this aspect involves tracking all components of the IT infrastructure. Extensive, in-depth monitoring is performed on all the used resources and experienced events within the app performance infrastructure. This includes an analysis of all servers, operating systems, middleware, application components and network components. Component monitoring provides a deeper understanding of the various elements and pathways identified in the previous processes. Analytics and reporting. This aspect involves translating the data gathered from the above processes into information that can be used for the following. Defining a performance baseline using historical and current data that sets an expectation for normal app performance. Identifying potential areas of improvement by comparing infrastructure changes to performance changes. Efficiently identifying, locating and resolving performance issues using historical and baseline data and predicting and alleviating potential future issues using actionable insights. The analytics and reporting components are essential to ensuring the organization receives a good return on investment ROI from both the application and APM. How does APM work? Application performance monitoring tools or platforms work by observing how apps are performing and whether they are behaving appropriately. If the apps are not behaving appropriately, then data is collected on the source of the issue. The gathered data is analyzed in the context of its effect on the business and the application environment is corrected to resolve any similar problems before they occur. When configuring an APM platform, three categories of data should be considered. 1. Metrics. A metric is a quantified measure that can be used to understand the status of a specific process. Metrics are often compared to a defined baseline to analyze the status of the system or process. Changing metrics are a common indication of an underlying issue. Two traces. A trace is the complete processing of a request. It is used to illustrate and understand the complete journey of a request as it travels through all the components and services of the network. A trace contains hundreds of data points that can indicate errors, diagnose security threats and detect and isolate network issues. Three log files. Automatically created by an application or OS, they hold information about user behavior and events that took place on the app. Log files are used to perform root cause analysis understand why a metric changed and identify where an event began. Because performance monitoring is part of the broader performance management topic, it is important to note that monitored data and analytics might not be enough to ensure adequate user experience. Performance management systems will often combine monitoring data with automation and orchestration to bring a level of autonomy to some problem remediation. For example, if a disk runs short of application storage capacity, the application might suffer performance or availability problems before an administrator can remediate the issue. In this example, a performance management system might use monitoring alerts and data to add more storage automatically, preventing application problems from ever occurring. How is APM different from observability? The terms application performance monitoring and observability are often used interchangeably, but they can diverge in scope. APM is about gathering data through metrics, traces and logs to measure performance and identify potential problems. On the surface, observability shares exactly the same definition. Observability defines or gauges a system state based on the data that system generates. For relatively simple systems involving a handful of hardware and a limited physical deployment, APM and observability are indistinguishable. However, observability typically goes further than APM. The fundamental difference between the two ideas is in how much data is collected and how that data is processed and interpreted. 
modern application architectures can be notoriously complex, involving large numbers of services and distributed systems located across multiple networks and physical locations, including the cloud. This evolution can present convoluted and challenging environments to monitor. Observability focuses on collecting more data across a broader range of environments and then performs sophisticated analytics on data patterns to provide insights on large and complex environments. What are the benefits and challenges of APM? In general, APM is used to proactively monitor the behaviors and performance of an application and its environment to identify and correct issues before the application is affected to any noticeable degree. It's a broad goal and it brings numerous trade-offs to the organization. There are three major benefits to APM. One better collaboration. Metrics and collected data can spark cooperation and collaboration between traditional silos across an organization, helping create a leaner and more responsive business. Two better CX. Improved customer experience occurs when applications and services are available and running well, helping to build the organization's reputation and brand. Three cost savings. APM can help eliminate the costs of downtime and poor UX but APM can also place demands on stakeholders and pose the following challenges for the business. 1. Using the wrong metrics. APM is not automatic it's up to the organization to choose and monitor the most meaningful metrics or create new metrics for the application being monitored. 2. Not using the metrics collected. Metrics are useless if they are not used to oversee application behavior and performance. Collect data that is needed and use the data that is collected. 3. Inadequate technical skill. Modern applications can be complex entities with many dependencies, so APM should be implemented and managed by staff that know the application, environment and APM technologies. Four unclear stakeholders or goals. Stakeholders drive the goals. Understand what parameters of an application should be measured and why those parameters are important. Monitoring for its own sake has no value to the business or the user. What can be monitored with APM? IT professionals can create rules and select monitoring parameters so the APM tool alerts them when a problem arises or when an application's performance dips in a specific area or deviates from an established baseline. They can also prioritize applications based on how business-critical they are. In virtualized deployments, APM tools can help IT professionals monitor application servers to ensure that they comply with an SLA. The cloud introduces a host of additional dependencies into application performance, even when applications are not based in the cloud themselves. For this reason, there is cloud application performance monitoring, which focuses on tracking the performance of applications based in private or hybrid cloud deployments. For instance, an APM platform must monitor network communications to see if there is a communication problem between the application and any cloud services it requires to run, or between the application and the users themselves. To do so, Many tools monitor both latency and the number of incoming and outgoing requests an application makes. APM tools and top vendors. Organizations can choose from a wealth of APM tools either dedicated to APM tasks or with APM functionality built into a broader array of features. Some of the most popular tools for APM include both third-party and cloud-based offerings. These include the following. App, Dynamics, Azure Application Insights. DX Application Performance Monitoring, Datadog, Dell Foglight, Dynatrace, Egg Innovations, Google Cloud Console, Grafana, Logic, Monitor, Manage Engine Applications Manager, Microsoft System Center, Nagios, New Relic, OpsView, Pulse Secure Virtual Traffic Manager, Red Hat OpenShift Container Platform, Semitext APM, Sensu, Site 24 by 7, Solar Winds App, Optics, Splunk, Stackify Retrace, Xenos. Given the large number of potential tools, organizations should be sure to invest time and effort in feature evaluation and product selection. Interview questions. 1. What do you understand by application monitoring? Application monitoring is the process of tracking, measuring, and analyzing the performance and health of software applications. This can include everything from monitoring the overall performance of an application to tracking individual transactions and measuring specific KPIs. 2. Can you explain what an APM tool is and how it works? 
An APM tool is a type of software that helps you monitor the performance of your applications. It does this by tracking various metrics, such as response time and error rates. This information can be used to help identify issues and bottlenecks so that they can be fixed. 3. What are the main categories of tools that can be used for application monitoring? There are four main categories of tools that can be used for application monitoring. System monitoring tools. These tools monitor the overall performance of the system, including CPU usage, memory usage, and network activity. Application performance management APM tools. These tools focus on the performance of specific applications and can provide detailed information on how the application is performing and where bottlenecks are occurring. Transaction monitoring tools. These tools track the performance of specific transactions, such as a user login or a purchase on an e-commerce site. Log analysis tools. These tools parse log files generated by the application and can be used to troubleshoot performance issues or identify potential security threats. For which open source tools would you recommend for a small team to monitor their applications? I would recommend the following open source tools Nagios, Isinga, Zabbix, and Cacti. 5. Why should teams use more than one type of monitoring tool for their applications? There are a few reasons for this. First, no single monitoring tool can provide visibility into all aspects of an application. Each tool has its own strengths and weaknesses, so using multiple tools gives you a more complete picture. Second, using multiple tools can help to verify the results you are seeing. If two different tools are showing similar results, you can be more confident that those results are accurate. Finally, using multiple tools can help to identify potential problems sooner. If one tool is showing an issue that another tool is not, that can be a sign that there is a problem that needs to be investigated. 6. How does application monitoring differ from system monitoring? Application monitoring is the process of monitoring the performance and availability of software applications. This can include monitoring the application itself, the underlying infrastructure, and the user experience. System monitoring, on the other hand, is the process of monitoring the performance and availability of computer systems. This can include monitoring the hardware, the operating system, the network, and the applications that are running on the system. 7. Do you have any experience using Datadog or New Relic? I have used both Datadog and New Relic for application monitoring in the past. I find that they both have their strengths and weaknesses, but overall they are both very useful tools. Datadog is particularly good at giving you a high-level overview of your application's performance, while New Relic is better at drilling down into specific issues. 8. Can you explain some of the key features provided by New Relic? New Relic is a software analytics company that provides application performance monitoring for web and mobile applications. New Relic provides features such as application performance monitoring, transaction tracing, and custom dashboards. New Relic also has a robust data platform that allows you to collect and analyze data from your applications. 9. What is your understanding of dashboards in New Relic? Dashboards in New Relic give you an at-a-glance view of the performance of your applications. You can customize the dashboard to display the information that is most important to you, and you can use it to quickly identify any areas that may need attention. 10. How would you go about setting up alerts in New Relic? To set up alerts in New Relic, you would first need to create a new alert condition. To do this, you would click on the Alerts tab, and then click on the Create Alert Condition button. From there, you would select the type of condition that you want to create, fill out the necessary information, and then click on the Create Condition button. Once the condition has been created, you can then set up the alert by clicking on the Alerts tab, and then clicking on the Create Alert button. From there, you would select the condition that you want to use for the alert, fill out the necessary information, and then click on the Create Alert button. Thank you for watching this video. We provide Hansman training with Labs Homework Group Projects Prepare you for the certification Provide real projects Internship opportunities Support you in Resume LinkedIn Staffing support Provide tech references In-person online class Class retake options and more Call us at 847 350 9034 for your free career consultation meeting. Please do not forget to like, share, and subscribe to our channel for the latest videos.